is uh, 23.5 is it? And this is uh, question 3. On the right is the graph k times 2 to the power of x. Write down the value of k. Well, what we can say here is the following. Okay? We can say that take the graph 2 to the power of x on its own. So not we're talking about 2 to the power of x on its own. Now, if we had f of x equals 2 to the power of x on its own, what would happen is when x is 0, okay, f of 0 would mean 2 to the power of 0, which would mean 1, correct? Now, this is the function we actually have. And what will happen here is f of 0 is equal to 3. So f0 equals k times 2 to the power of 0. This answer has to equal 3. k times 1 is 3. What does that mean about k? k is 3. Anybody get that? Alan Johnson and Callum. Okay. Uh, k equals 3 because uh, when the input is 0, the output is 3. Remains replace x, put your input as 0 and see what the output is. Okay? Well, then I'll read off what minus 2 is. It, they never ask you like that. It always has to be a number that's easily identifiable. Okay? It'd be very, they wouldn't give you a decimal on that. You could try this 1. x equals 1? Yeah. I don't think, uh, we could try I suppose. Yeah, let's try it here f of 1 is k times 2 to the power of 1 which equals 6 2k equals 6 k equals 3 so you can use uh, this point here or this point there is that right? Yeah. Cool. good idea Brian, good idea Okay. f of 2 is not shown on the graph what is the value of f of 2? well we now know that f of x is this is part 2 we know that f of x is uh, 3 by 2 to the power of x. f of 2 means your input is 2. So it's going to be 3 times 2 to the power of 2. What's 3 times 2 to the power of 2? 12. Is that right? 12. Okay, guys. Use the graph to estimate the value of x for which f of x equals 1. So what about that one, guys? Use the graph to estimate the value of x for which f of x equals 1. Where does f of x equal 1? What does f of x mean? What letter? Y. Y equals 1. So y, if you go across, if you hit the line, you go directly down. What do we think it is? About minus 1.6. Who got that one out? So more people got that one out, okay? That's very good. Alright guys, next question. Uh, Neve, told, Neve is told that the, the given curve uh, is the graph of either k times 2 to the power of x or k, or k times 3 to the power of x. Find the value of k. Okay, this is an interesting question. Okay. Input, when the input is 0, <coughs> the output is 5. When input is 2, output is, anybody? 20. So that means that uh, x equals 2, y equals 20, or x equals 0 and y equals 5. So let's see what happens here. Let's put use the first one. Okay? I'll do it in green. f of x equals k times 2 to the power of x. Okay? So f of x Okay. f of x is going to be f of 0. Why, do, why am I using f of 0? because the input is 0. It's going to be k times 2 to the power of 0 equals what number? 
What value is f of 0, guys? 5. k times 1 equals k. k equals 5. Now, let's check out the second value and see if it works for that one. Okay? Let's see if it works out for. Uh, sorry. When the input is 2, the output is 20. So what I'm claiming is f of x is 5 times 2 to the power of x. Let's see what f of 2 is. f of 2 is going to be 5 times 2 to the power of 2. And what is 2 to the power of 2? 4. What's 5 times 4? 20 equals 20. We can now clearly see that this equation here satisfies both points on your graph. Do you see that? Okay. Now, what I'm going to do next is find the value of k. I think k is 5. Write down which of the two functions the curve represents. I think it represents k times 2 to the power of x. But I should also eliminate out the other curve, shouldn't I? Using the same methods. So look at this. This time, what we're going to do is we're going to say, what we're going to say is this, guys. We're going to say f of x equals k times 3 to the power of x. Yeah? That's the other graph up here, right? Now, when the input is 0, the output is 5. Are you happy with that? The input is 0, the output is 5. So that means that f of 0 is k times 3 to the power of 0, and the output has to be 5. Yeah? Once again, k turns out to be 5. How does it turn out to be 5? 3 to the power of 0 is 1. K equals 5. Now, let's try the second one. The second one claims that when the input is 2, the output is 20. So this question is claiming here that f of x, pay attention guys, f of x is k, which is 5 times 3 to the power of x, which is 20. Okay? And therefore, f of 2 which is 5 times 3 to the power of 2 should be equal to 20. Now what is 5 times 3 to the power of 2? Sorry? Does 45 equal 20? No. See the way the last one, 20 equals 20. This means that the function, the first function was correct and the second function is wrong. What this what this 45 means is the following. When its input is 2, its output is 45. Now look at this. I'm going to write up 245 up here. Which one rises quicker? 3 to the power of x or 2 to the power of x? Which one goes up quicker? 3 to the power of x. And look, it would look like this. It has the same first point. But then it will go up like this. That is why the 3 to the power of x graph isn't represented here. It's the 2 to the power of x graph. Is that alright? Okay, guys. Stop here.